JoelandSouthernPlate.com, and we are in the car. Say hi, Ricky. Hi. Say hi, Brady. Cody. Sarah Jane. Hi. <laughs> we are actually headed to a new restaurant in Madison. It's not a, it's, a, it's actually kind of a small chain, but we've never been to it. And this one hasn't even opened to the public yet. It's called Another Broken Egg. And they've got a VIP event this weekend. And they invited uh, me and my family to come. So we're fixing to go try it out. And then I'll get to the question of the day later. Y'all say bye. 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 Bye-bye. Cafe. I had a fried green tomato BLT with a bacon bacon that was out as well. What did you have, Ricky? Um, Bananas Foster French toast. Made with Hawaiian bread. And everybody else had like pancakes and bacon and all that stuff. Was it good, y'all? My favorite was the bacon. The bacon was amazing. The bacon was awesome. Brady, was it good? It was great. If you ever go, order the bacon. Yes. <laughs> okay. It was great bacon. So now we're headed home. And I've got to, I'm going to show this video, I'm putting this up on Monday, but this is actually Saturday. And so I've got to run and get my food co-op basket, and then I'm going to finish this video and finally get around to Monday's question of the day. So we'll see you soon. Y'all say bye. 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 Hey everybody, I am back here to answer the question of the day now. Um, this is actually Sunday. I started this video on Saturday. I was planning on answering the question then. And came home and I was just wore stuff out. I had a long week, so I rested yesterday. I had a nice little, nice little Sabbath day yesterday. So this is Sunday, and I'm here for the question of the day. And today's question, I'm actually going using Monday's question, is: um, Are there any food trends that you find ridiculous? <laughs> now, as a food blogger, we hear about all the trends because a new diet will become in vogue or. Um, they'll decide that one ingredient is evil and stuff and you start getting all these emails and people want you to completely rewrite your blog based on this one diet or this one thing or something. Um, and so there's actually three of these. Um, the first one is I'm going to say um, anything that I have been offered, uh, I've been pitched to me by a PR company. And what I mean is um, like there's industries, there's PR firms and media firms for every kind of vegetable that's grown for all the different ingredients and stuff. I mean, there's there's PR companies who promote honey, who promote corn in all the different states, who promote cotton, who promote beef, you know, there's all that stuff. And, and I understand that, that makes sense. And their job is generally to get out the word about it and to help you be more aware of the health benefits and things of this. But sometimes companies um, who promote certain products will decide to launch a huge massive campaign smearing one product that theirs is the only one that can take its place and this even happens with vegetables i mean it's ridiculous and so i as a food blogger i will get these pr pitches and they'll want me to do a post talking about the evils of this and this and this and it may be something that i've never heard of before um you know they they tell one side of the story there's two sides of every story, but it may be something that I've never heard people have a problem with or consider evil or whatever. And then two months later, you start, oh, all of a sudden, everybody just looked at this one ingredient, like this just completely demonized and they can't believe somebody would use this and that and all this stuff. So I avoid that kind of stuff, but um, people don't realize how often their um, opinions and outrage at certain things are actually the part of a very successful PR campaign and so anything any kind of um, fad trend in the food world whatever that began as a PR campaign that I know about I I just completely ignore and overlook um, 
I mean, you know, you gotta, you have to make decisions for yourself. And it's like that we, everything is very carefully crafted. It's amazing how many of our opinions and things are crafted based on the media that we watch or read, you know, so you have to be careful of that. Um, but let's talk about an actual food trend that I found utterly ridiculous. Cupcakes. I have nothing against cupcakes. I love cupcakes. We make cupcakes all the time. They're handy little things. But a couple of years ago, this whole cupcake thing started taking off. And the ridiculousness was, is people were acting like they had just invented cupcakes. Like, oh my gosh, this is the greatest invention ever. You've got to try. I mean, they were acting like cupcakes were a new thing. And I'm thinking, it's a cupcake. What's, okay, you're gonna get this excited over a cupcake? And I honestly would not be surprised if there were some people among generations walking the earth today who think that cupcakes actually were invented when the cupcake rage took off. Um, I'm hot, I'm sitting out here in the sun. Um, another, the third thing, food trend that I hate is when people say, the new south or um the reinvented south and they're talking about this fresh local food movement and they talk about it like we have finally you know oh they, oh, they have these words for it but a lot of, a lot of the terms is the new south i don't want to hear anything about the new south um and then they act you know oh we're eating fresh we're eating local this is the new south this is how the south is finally doing it right you see this mess in headlines and stuff in southern magazines and I'm like you know what honey my granny didn't have no fridge and she grew the stuff in her garden she butchered a chicken if she was gonna have chicken for supper she didn't go down to the Piggly Wiggly and buy chicken on a styrofoam tray so I don't want to hear about how the New South is eating fresh and local I mean fresh and local is your backyard and go from cluck to pot in 10 minutes that's fresh and local and I just don't like the arrogance of it that just drives me crazy like really but I, I do think that that some of these people honestly think that this is a new concept and that just shows how out of touch they are but no the cupcake thing was crazy I'm, I just never said why is everybody getting so excited about cupcakes nothing against cupcakes they're great or anything I'm just thinking y'all acting like this is something new you know um so um I'm anxious to hear Stacy Littles because he and I talked about it on that uh, road trip we went on recently <laughs> about what food trend he he thinks is just ridiculous so my most ridiculous food trend is going to, have to be anything inspired anything that has a PR campaign behind it that the public generally does not realize um, cupcakes and the new south <laughs> so um, but when it comes to food trends I do enjoy um, I love the whole I love that there is a movement and I, this is nothing new but I like there's a movement of new people who haven't tried growing their own who haven't tried producing their own food and there's a lot going on right now that's encouraging younger people and people new to this to give it a try there's a lot of education available right now about that it's easily accessed um, it's not intimidating it's available for everybody and I do enjoy that because I do feel um, it's important for us to be able to provide as much of our own food as possible and rely less on grocery stores and things so I think that's a wonderful movement um, across the board for every every possible reason I could do a whole video on how why the whole sustainable living movement is a wonderful thing um, so yeah I love that love sustainable living um, grow your own produce your own don't get the cupcake thing just don't get it anyway so that's all for this video today i hope y'all enjoyed my fun little bollywood opening um <laughs> i was connie uh constant smith from cosmopolitan cornbread always has the coolest openings and i mentioned that to her and she's like well i just did this this and i thought you know i should work on opening so i actually did that yesterday in my downtime i did that whole opening on my ipad my computer that I've ordered has been pushed back another week to getting here. So I'm going to be recording and producing all these videos on my iPad until it gets here because that's turned out to just kind of be the easiest thing. Anyway, y'all have a wonderful week. Look for more videos from me coming soon. This one I think is going to post Monday. I may end up posting it Sunday night, which is tonight. Or, I don't know. It'll be, it'll be posted by Monday. So I may post another video Monday, if not Tuesday. If not, then Wednesday. Just look for it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'm about to go get in the kitchen, get my apron on. I've got uh, 
a new recipe I have well I'm actually developing two new recipes today I'm photographing three recipes today so I gotta get going with it and uh, time to get back in the kitchen and get to work fun time is over so I'll holler at y'all later y'all have a good one love you bye bye